on today we'll be looking at new H670 MAVA board. This is a new Asus H670 Plus D4 designed for new Intel 12th generation CPU. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video. As anticipated at the beginning, in this new first contact we are going to discover the new Asus H670 Plus D4. This motherboard is just one of many H670 boards available on the market. You can find the complete roundup list of new boards in the description. Starting from the box, we find, of course, the motherboard, two SATA 6GB to second cable, one IO shell, one M2 rubber package, two M2 SSD screw package, one M2 key screw package, one support DVD and user guide. The H670 board in question is an ATX form factor and a measure 30.5 cm for 24.4 cm. The boards presented a VRM layout feature 6 plus 2 power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. It's covered by one silver metal heatsink at the side of a CPU socket. In addition, there is one ANAVA that covers one M2 slot. As all new H670 boards, it features Intel 1700 socket that support the 12 Intel Core i9, i7, i5, i3, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPU. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM socket, dual channel memory architecture that support 32GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum of 128GB for 4 DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2133 MHz to 3200 MHz to 5000 MHz in overclocking. Regarding the headers of a motherboard in upside from the left, there are 8-pin ATX 12V power connector for the CPU and cool heads for CPU, DRAM, VGA and booting devices. After going down, on the right side there are addressable Gen 2 header, our RGB header, 24-pin ATX main power socket connectors. Two USB 3.2 Gen 1 headers, one addressable Gen 2 headers, two SATA 6GB to second port, one chassis fan header, and the SPI TPM or Trusted Platform Module header. In the bottom of motherboard there are system panel header, two SATA 6GB to second, two chassis fan header, USB 2.0 headers, one addressable Gen 2 headers, one Aura RGB header, one clear CMOS header, Thunderbolt header, COM port header, front panel audio header, and SPDI F out port. Finally, in the middle there are one IO pump header and CPU fan header. The storage option includes 4 SATA 6GB to second ports and 3 M2 slots. One M2 socket support type 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices, a PCI Express 4.0 for 4 mode, one M2 socket support type 2242, 2260, 2280 at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode and SATA mode. One M2 socket support type 2242, 2260, 2280 and 22110 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode. 
as expansion slot the motherboard feature 5 PCI Express, 2 PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slots, 1 PCI Express 3.0 for 16 slot, and 2 PCI Express 3.0 for 1 slot. On back in the I.O. panel we find firstly one HDMI port, one display port, two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one another USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, one 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, and audio jacks including line in, line out and the microphone port. And now we talk about of prices. The motherboard is available or retail at price of about 160 US dollar or 180 euros at the time of making this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you find this video helpful then leave a like, share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time!